welcome. I'm Jean Carroll from the Oprah Public Library, and today we are going to make a birdhouse craft out of a repurposed book. So in your do-it-yourself kit, you'll receive a book where the spine has been torn off. These are books that would have been discarded, so we're reusing them. You can also use your own book from home. This is about 150 pages. And really, you can make any size birdhouse. You can make a freestanding birdhouse, or you can make one that has a back that goes up against the wall. Also, in your bag, we'll include some grass for decorating, as well as a bird and a flower. You'll need a glue gun or some Elmer's glue and scissors for decorating. We'll also include a piece of cardboard if you choose to do the flat birdhouse. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to take the book that's provided to you in the bag and we're going to start with different folds to make the birdhouse. And it's outlined with graphics on the instruction sheet. So step one, we are going to fold the first page lengthwise in towards the spine. Press down here. So see, just one fold in towards the spine. Step two is to fold the top corner down to meet the spine. And I'm going to smooth it out there like that. So page one is two folds, one lengthwise in towards the spine. And then the second fold is just the top corner in towards the spine. That's all. Now we're going to turn that page. You're done with page one. Now I'm going to show you the next fold for page two. Page two, we're going to take the bottom of the page and fold it halfway up towards the spine to make a triangle. And then I'm going to smooth it out. Now my second fold is I'm going to take the top corner and fold it in towards the spine to make a second triangle. That's page two. There's two folds, and that's all there is for page two. And now I'm going to turn this page. I'm done with page two. And now I'm just going to alternate each page with the two different folds. So the next page is lengthwise in towards the spine, first fold. My second fold is the top corner down. And then I turn the page. My next page is fold up towards the spine. And now the top corner down towards the spine. And I turn the page. So we just keep alternating these folds until we get to the end. So again, lengthwise, then the top corner, turn the page. Fold up towards the spine, fold down towards the spine, and turn the page. So now I'm done folding all of the pages of my book. I take the glue and I'm going to use a lot because it's pretty thick. And I'm going to glue the last two pages that I folded together.
And now we have a birdhouse. And next, I will show you some different options for decorating your birdhouse. When you're done folding your book, you can keep it as a circle and you can glue different pages to make them thicker. Or you can split it in half like I've done. And in your bag, there will be a piece of cardboard where you can glue it to the cardboard and make it flat. It will end up looking like this. So there's different creative options. You can cut out a little birdhouse at the bottom. You'll be provided with the grass, flowers, and a bird. Just get your creative on. You can color, you can use marker, paint. You can keep your birdhouse round to fit on the table. See what you come up with. Tag us on social media and show us your finished product.